let's talk about an issue that anyone who flies planes in Battlefield 5 is already well aware of, and that's that the March 20th patch nearly ruined plane gameplay because it changed all of the aircraft physics with no heads up or warning from DICE at all. DICE does seem to be aware of these issues and some changes are on the horizon, but I wanted to finally make this video that I've been putting off making so that the overall community is aware of these issues with the planes. Let's start out with some gameplay footage, guys, because it's pretty awful, and I think it speaks for itself. As you guys can see, the fighters handle like boat anchors. A dogfight basically just involves trying to e-brake hard enough that the person behind you can't control their speed as easily and shoots past you. From there, it's just a matter of who can brake the hardest until the person behind them takes them out. For this fight, we were going so slow that our wheels deployed and we crash landed outside of the map boundaries. Now the map boundaries without any kind of object collision outside of the map, that's just a necessary evil for how these games are designed. You've got to have an out of bounds area and all those trees are going to just be no clip mode basically. That's not the real issue here. The real issue is that all we were doing in this quote unquote dogfight was seeing who could break the hardest. It was just the most ridiculous thing I've seen so far when flying in this game. I'm going to get into some of the good news that's on the horizon and hopefully uh, this video perhaps will help DICE uh, make some of these changes coming up later on in the video, but first let's talk about what they changed. To me, this is so similar to the infantry time to kill update that was launched in December with no warning or heads up either that completely changed the gameplay and the uproar from the community that followed that update. But there's a smaller segment of the community that flies the planes. So while the pilots have been uh, pretty outraged and disappointed, that is still a smaller piece of the community. So hopefully this video will help to get the word out and we'll get some of these physics updates rolled back or tweaked. So to start things off, let's talk about what DICE intended with this patch. The March 20th patch notes describe the changes like this. With the series returning to World War II for Battlefield 5, the prospect of recreating the iconic dogfights of that theater was an exciting prospect. During development of Battlefield 5, we had a vision for flying that would be easy to pick up, but would provide enough of a skill ceiling for those really skilled to push the boundaries of what was possible in Battlefield. We set out to accomplish this by reducing the amount of secondary forces being applied to our planes while maneuvering. We limited the effects of stalling and losing lift by accident, and generally weighed the flight model more towards engine power and drag rather than gravity. The outcome, and again this is the patch notes referring to how things were at launch, the outcome was a flight model that made planes simpler to fly, and we were finding more and more players were able to achieve success from within the cockpit, however we were seeing some downsides. We're finding that dogfights between two equally skilled pilots have become fairly undynamic, and to combat this, we've got some changes on the way to our flight model that should allow veteran pilots to push the envelope of flying within Battlefield 5 even further. A quick note for me here, this is generally true. The dogfights in the Battlefield series tend to be pretty vanilla, with just circle fighting and lots of break techniques. But here's how DICE attempted to make that uh, deeper, going back to the notes here. We will be increasing the parameters that you will need to consider before and during a dogfight, allowing for a wider range of maneuvers so that pilots can use their skills to outsmart their opponents and come out on top. 
Here's a quick breakdown of some of the changes that we're including in the next update. First up, wings and ailerons. Flap scaling has been tweaked to give less maneuverability at speeds under 200 km per hour. The drag coefficient is now less extreme at 90 degree angles to remove the floatiness at low speed. The patch notes continue, going slow will also more heavily impact your ability to maneuver your plane. Elevator and rudder changes. Drag coefficients for elevators and rudders have been separated out and tweaked to get a more physical stalling behavior, as in nose down faster when stalling. Elevator lift curves are tweaked for giving optimal turns above 180 km an hour. This gives you a more realistic stalling behavior and will allow good pilots to use this behavior in making more advanced maneuvers. Next up, changes to the airplane body and gravity. Drag over velocity has been tweaked per plane to max out at cruising speeds. This means that planes will retain energy for longer and will not slow down as fast. Gravity will affect planes more when climbing. Combined with drag changes, this makes it more viable to trade altitude for speed. You will find that decreasing only throttle will no longer affect your speed as quickly. If you really want to slow down, make sure to use gravity to your advantage. With reduced drag in general, you will also find that diving allows you to gain speed faster than before. Combined, these changes should increase the number of factors you should consider as a pilot. Not only second to second, but also longer term. Are you going fast or slow? What speed is your opponent going? What is your relative height to the enemy? Can you outclimb that mosquito on your tail? And the notes wrap up with some hopes from the team that this will improve playing gameplay. Well, the bad news is it did not. On paper, a lot of these changes actually got me really excited because it sounded like there was going to be a lot more depth, leaning more towards War Thunder than Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1's very arcadey playing system was a lot of fun, an absolute blast in my opinion, but it was super vanilla. All of the classes of planes in Battlefield 1, fighters, attack planes, and whatnot, were just clones of each other. Everybody had the exact same airframes, no matter what the visual style of your plane was, and dogfighting generally involved just ambushing and circle fights. These changes here in Battlefield 5 sounded like one of the most advanced changes to the plane system in any of the Frostbite Battlefield games so far. In practice, though, all these changes did is ruin the fun of flying in Battlefield 5. It is still very difficult to control the exact speed of your aircraft, especially if you're flying with mouse and keyboard. Additionally, a lot of the changes just seem to not have the intended effect whatsoever. All these additions of uh, more forces of drag and gravity that were supposed to prevent floating planes appeared to actually do the opposite, and players very quickly were uh, e-braking in midair and doing ridiculous brake maneuvers and just floating their aircraft. And yeah, your aircraft will eventually nose down faster than it used to, but it really didn't take away the ridiculousness of all of these airborne e-brake tactics. As another example of the unintended side effects to the physics here in this patch and just the lack of fun that they introduced, look at this background footage right now. My engine gets disabled, and the additional forces of gravity and drag are so obnoxious with my engine disabled that I can't gain enough altitude while still being able to repair. But my plane still doesn't really nose down either like it's supposed to. It becomes even floatier than it would have been before the patch. It just looks ridiculous. And let me tell you guys, this is just so frustrating to fly. This is not fun. Something has gone really wrong with these changes. Of course, it also doesn't help that this patch introduced multiple instances of the repair stations not working, so I was never able to get my engine repaired to get my airspeed back. More than anything, when I describe it as taking the joy away from flying, it's made the planes a lot less maneuverable in a bad way. Yes, the launch version of the flight model was very arcadey. You could do all kinds of crazy uh, dives and pull out of them successfully, but now your planes handle more like boat anchors. Fighters, as you guys saw in that initial clip, are one of the worst hit by this. It's very difficult to hold the fighters in a speed range that's actually going to make them maneuverable. And the slightest uh, dive and pull up is going to absolutely destroy your ability to roll or to maneuver at all. Fighters really feel like they've had their wings clipped, to the point where in the current version of the game, most of the bombers, especially the JU-88s on the German side, can outmaneuver British fighters. They can outturn them, 
and outroll them and win a dogfight against them with just their front cannons. There are just so many cascading effects with these huge far-reaching plane changes completely changing the physics system so far after the game launched that I cannot believe that DICE not only didn't do any kind of public testing, but didn't warn us until the patch notes were deployed and the patch was launched that these changes were coming. I've just been thankful that when this patch went live, it also came with the Firestorm game mode because I've been playing that almost exclusively since this patch dropped. The changes were just that bad. So how can DICE improve on this? Again, I liked a lot of this stuff on paper. I think one of the fixes for the fighters is going to be increasing their cruising speed. Their current cruising speed after this patch needs to be the throttle down speed for if a pilot is doing an intentional dive and is trying to control their airspeed so they have more time on target. The cruising speed though needs to ramp up much more quickly and the aircraft's ability to roll needs to be increased, especially for that fighter class. Overall across the board, I think the plane's cruising speeds uh, might need to be tweaked to be higher because these additional forces of drag and gravity, while adding that more dynamic range to the plane's speed, seems to have the current effect of just making them overall slower and less maneuverable right now. So a higher cruising speed to compensate for those new forces might be a good idea. And of course, guys, a quick note here, I am speaking just as a player. I can't speak to how DICE is able to make changes to the plane physics in game. Uh, these suggestions might seem simple on paper, but could be much more complicated to implement and tweak. So if any of you guys are listening over there at DICE, you have my sympathy. I know that this is a more complicated problem uh, to make adjustments to than I'm making it out to be. But again, I'm just speaking as a pilot, uh, talking about the fun factor and how things changed. Overall, do I think that these changes need to be completely rolled back? Not necessarily, whereas the time to kill changes back in December were huge changes that just were not any kind of recoverable. There are some good things here on paper with these physics updates. At the end of the day though, I think we should consider that this is still an arcade shooter, and if the planes just aren't fun to fly, they aren't fun to maneuver, they're not fun to pilot, maybe these changes aren't such a good thing after all. War Thunder is great, but this isn't War Thunder. Back at the start of this video, I mentioned that there is some good news on the horizon. First of all, on the quality of life tracker, there is an entry describing the plane physics changes and the very negative feedback from the pilot community about them. The quality of life issue is described as recent updates to flight mechanics make planes feel less agile and sluggish. Platforms affected all. The status of that request is we are continuing to work to improve flight mechanics by the development team. That's been on the quality of life tracker for about a month now, within a few weeks of this patch going live. So they were aware that things were not good. More specific, there are a couple of tweaks coming even in just the next patch, which is, I guess, pretty quick. It's only been about six or seven weeks. They fixed the awful resupply bug introduced in the last patch where plane resupplies would just stop working completely. And as far as the plane physics go, Jeff Braddock, the North American CM for Battlefield, describes it as, we've improved the turning rates for planes. That sounds like all planes as a whole. He continues with, bombers should no longer be able to outturn fighter planes. So fighters specifically have also gotten some additional attention from the sound of things. That is the good news that led me to finally make this video. It's a bit of a rant because again, DICE completely blindsided the community with these huge sweeping vehicle changes uh, once again in Battlefield 5. This is not their first time doing this. I really hope that they start running some of this stuff through the community, at least through the Game Changer program. Like, you've got this uh, group of players that have a lot of experience with your game. Reach out to some of them and get some feedback before making some of these sweeping changes. As you guys have seen on my channel, I've gotten somewhat used to these physics for a couple of the bombers. I had the uh, Blenheim video with the uh, 50 cal explosive machine gun where I was able to fly that pretty well, but being able to deal with these changes does not make them good changes. Hopefully, DICE will keep tweaking them and we'll see some really great flight mechanics at some point in this game's life cycle. At the end of the day, I really hope that the fun comes back in the flight model though. That ought to be the focus. For now, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.